In this video, I am going to show you how to create a resource pack for the Minecraft Java version 1.21.9. So, let's get started. To begin, you will want to go to your Minecraft launcher, and the reason for this is simply to download all the required assets for this version of Minecraft. So what you want to do here is simply go ahead and make sure you are on the latest release, so in this case it is 1.21.9, and from there you want to click play. This will just download the game for you, and then this will also download all the assets for you as well, which obviously is important when you create a resource pack, so that is the idea of this. So basically, once the game is open here, you can just go ahead and close it, you don't need to play right now. So, what you want to do now is go back to the Minecraft launcher, and now you know that you have the 1.21.9 folder and basically the jar file. So, once you did this, you will want to go to the installations tab here on the top. Then you want to hover over latest release and go to the folder icon. Then, what you want to do is find the versions folder, and then double click it, and then you'll be sent here. Now, this saves all the actual games you played of Minecraft versions. So in this case, we have some release candidates, some Optifine, some Fabric mods, for example. But you will find your 1.21.9 folder. Now, what you want to do here is simply double click it. So you want to double click this folder. And then once you're here, you want to select the jar file and copy it. Now, you want to go to Downloads and paste it. Here, what you want to do now is simply go ahead and create a new folder. So right click, New Folder, and this will be the name of the zip, basically, of your new resource pack. So I'll just call it Resource Pack, right? So this is our resource pack here, and this is our jar with all the assets. So basically, to get the assets out of this jar file, you will want to select it like this, then you want to rename it, and then you want to go ahead and go to this .jar here and call it zip, like so. So now it is 1.21.9.zip. Here, you will want to do yes, and now it's a zip. If you can't see .zip or .jar, you will have to go to view, show, and then file name extensions. This will show this here, and then you'll be also able to edit it. So if you can't see .zip, make sure to activate this here. Okay, so once you did this, you will want to extract the zip. To do this, you want to right click on the zip, you want to go to extract all, and then you want to extract. Alrighty, so to make everything nice and clean for you, you can go ahead and delete the zip. So you can go ahead and delete that. And now we have these. So to begin, let's just go ahead and actually go in our resource pack folder here. We have some things to set up. So simply double click the folder, it should be empty, and then you want to start by the pack.mcmeta file, and this is what gives the name and description and version number of your pack. So to do this, you want to right click, no text document, here it is, we'll rename it later, so we'll keep it like this, and now you want to double click it. So just double click it, and this should open up the notepad application. If it doesn't show up, you can do open with notepad, and it should show up something like this. Okay, so what you want to do is type in the following text, which is curly bracket, enter tab, quotation mark, pack, quotation mark, two dots, curly bracket, enter tab, tab, quotation mark, min, format, quotation mark, two dots, square bracket, 69, that's the current pack version, you want to do a comma, zero, that's the minimum version you can go at, and you can do a square bracket, 
then you can do a comma, then enter, tap tap, quotation mark, max, format, then you can do a quotation mark, two dots, you can do your square bracket, current pack version, so 69, and comma, maximum pack version, you can go at, there's not really any maximum, but you can do 100 for example, and you can do a comma. Then you can do enter, tab, tab, quotation mark, you want to write description, description, then you can do a comma, you can do two dots, and you can do comma, and this can be your description, so I can do anything here, and you can do a quotation mark here, and from there, you can go ahead and enter, you can do tab, curly bracket close, tab, close, curly bracket. So that is the text you want to write here. So this is our pack saying it's a resource pack. It's a minimum format of 69 and below, maximum format of 69 and above. So as soon as Minecraft goes over 100, this pack will not work anymore. Description is anything here. Okay. So once you did this, you can go ahead and just go and save this document in file, save as, and save. You can do yes. And this just overrides this document. Well, awesome. Now you want to rename this document by just going to rename. Make sure you have it selected, of course. And of course, now you want to select everything. So that includes .txt. And you want to rename it to pack.mc meta like so so minecraft meta pack resource pack enter and save okay oh yes in this case and there you go that's step one step two is the picture you need a picture for this to work so the way this is gonna work you can go ahead and just find a picture create a picture in this case i will just go ahead and just create a picture using just paint.net you can really do anything you want so that is the idea here. So the way this works is that I'm just going to go ahead and just go up to paint and we'll find paint.net here. I will have a link to this application in the description if you want it. So this has to be a square. So I'll just do file, I'll do new, I'll do 1080p. That's a bit too overkill for a resource pack, but it will work. And here, this is our, our pack here. So I will not do anything special, honestly. This is just to show you what to do, you know, so I guess you just have like a quick idea on what to actually go ahead and do. This will just go ahead and show us that we have like the off thing, it does work, you know, so there you go. So that will be our logo for it, why not? Not centered, nothing, doesn't matter. You can clearly see this is not a default Minecraft texture. To save this, I'll just go to file, save as, and here I'll go on our resource pack document and I'll just do paste and just not paste but like just save it in there honestly and you can just close it and there you go we now have our picture right so you can rename this from un untitled to this pack.png that's what you want so that's how this should look like it should look like pack.png with a square picture make sure it's square and our pack.mc meta so next what you want to do is import the assets to this folder so what you can do is simply go ahead and go to downloads then you can go to our 1.21.9 folder and once you're here you want to go to the assets here and just copy it so you want to go to the assets folder and copy it then you want to go to downloads resource pack and paste it there you go so now we're just copy pasting all the assets from minecraft 1.21.9 to our resource pack folder that we just made so yeah one thing i'm gonna do is edit one asset just to show you that it works so let's just wait for this to actually finish up and then we'll be able to go ahead and mess with that so in this case here it is this is how a resource pack should look like this is the most bare bone you can go but not exactly you can delete some assets if you want but basically once you have these three files what you want to do is go to assets right? and here you can see that we have 
Minecraft, we have assets here. You can delete this if you want. I will not delete it, but you can if you want. I will delete it, whatever. Doesn't matter, you can remove it if you want. What actually matters is this .minecraft folder here, which became Minecraft. And what you want to do is simply go ahead and click on it. And this is basically all of the assets for Minecraft. So let's say that we want to edit the diamond block and make it purple. Well, how do we edit the diamond block? Well, we know that it is like a texture. So we want to go to textures, right? It's a texture of the block. Then it's a block. So you, you want to go to block. And now you have a bunch of blocks, huh? So you can go ahead and go through the list if you want, but that can be kind of complicated to find the uh, diamond block. But that is something that you can do if you want, but you can simply go ahead and of course just search for it because going through these 10 little pictures is slightly annoying. So we can just go ahead and go to search block and do diamond block. Here it is. Here's our diamond block. So let's say that we want to go ahead and like edit this picture. How do we do this? This is a PNG by the way. We right click it, open with paint.net. And this is why I like paint.net, just because you can just open like this. And this is our block texture. So let's say we want to change it to purple. I'll just change it to like purple if we can. There you go. And that will give us our purple diamond block. If we want to save this, We'll just do file, save as, diamondblock.png, save, replace, yes, okay. And now you can see that we have our diamond block here and it is changed, right? This is our new texture for it. So yeah, that is how that works. As you can see, we have a purple diamond block and now we can continue with the actual optimization phase. So in this case, what I mean by that is that if we go to our resource pack, well, it is quite big, right? The actual size of this resource pack is like, you know, somewhat big for a resource pack. So how do you optimize it? Well, you will want to go to assets, right? This is our main folder. And then Minecraft, of course. And here, you just have to delete basically anything that does not belong in a resource pack. So for example, these. You don't need it, but this is all what you need to make the resource pack actually work. But we only used textures, right? So we don't need anything here because we did not change languages, items, and anything. So we don't need to keep this, right? And some of this can also conflict into the actual Minecraft game and cause some weird glitches and stuff. So you might want to remove stuff that you don't use, right? So we only use textures, so we can delete all of these, right? We can delete waypoint style. We can go inside the textures. We only edited blocks, so we can delete everything here and delete this. There you go. Now we can go to block. Here we only edited this, so we can technically just like delete everything in Minecraft, basically. And this will not affect Minecraft, right? This will just affect whatever changes you did. Technically, Minecraft sees this as a just a change, right? but there's no change as well. So if you change like the wet sponge, you will want to keep it, but I didn't, well, I just changed the diamond. So we just delete everything here and there you go. So now we kept our diamond block and this is the only thing in this assets folder. So if we right click it again, it is now tiny and this is perfect for Minecraft. So here you're basically done and what you want to do is just select everything, right click, compress to zip. Uh, so you might have other ways to doing this, but just make it a zip like this and you're done. This is your resource pack. So I can just go ahead and copy it, for example, give it a name by renaming the file here. And there you go. Well, uh, you can now send this to anyone. So let me show you the change in game. So let's go to our Minecraft launcher here and I'll go into Minecraft and then you'll be able to see the change. So basically make sure we have latest release 1.20.9 selected and click play. This will open up Minecraft and then we'll be able to add 
the resourcepack.zip that we just created to Minecraft. So yeah, let me show you how that looks like. So here we have Minecraft and what you want to do is go to options, resource packs, open pack folder, and once you're here, you will want to go ahead and go to downloads and select and copy a resource pack zip, then go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste. Here it is, one resource pack in dot Minecraft resource packs. Now let's go back to Minecraft and here we have anything here and a pack of PNG. So that's awesome. And also there's no error. So that means there is like nothing conflicting with the versions or anything. It's great, it works. So now what you can do is just select it, you'll go here and do done. And there you go. It's selected here and it just works. So for example, if we just go ahead and go to a world and test out our purple diamond block, it will show up. So if we do like inventory, we go and find our diamond block. Look at that, a purple diamond block. It's a very simple change what I've did here, but it just really just shows how easy it is to make your resource packs and also how easy it is to just optimize them as well, right? to make them nice and tiny so it can be like fast to download and stuff. So yeah, that is pretty cool. So yeah, that is how we can make resource packs for Minecraft Java version 1.21.9. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.